So, if you had a top five list for best episodes of Arrow of all time, what would it be? Oh, I actually wrote this down a while ago because I was going to do a video with someone. Um, if I had to choose my top five, like everyone seems to say Lee and you as their number one but I don't think I would say that um, okay. I think that's one of the best episodes but if I was to actually go down a list I would probably have to say one of the Prometheus episodes I'm just trying to find the title ah, I think it was um, What We Leave Behind hmm, what happened in the episode again I can't remember that one where Oliver, um, where Curtis gets attacked, and Oliver realizes uh, Prometheus is planning to make a move against Team Arrow, and that's the episode where Oliver goes like um, up the building, and then we see Prometheus by the pool. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember the episode. We get his sort of backstory. Yeah, I, re- I remember. I that's probably one of my favorites, and then mm. yeah, and then after that we'll probably. Be Capuchon, and then um, maybe some of the season two ones. I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to rank because I think there's so many good ones from season two and season five, yeah. especially. Yeah, season two and season um, five. Yeah, season two and season five had the best episodes in them. And me, I, I wrote it down. I have a top five list, and eat well. Yeah, and and these were pretty straightforward for me because these episodes for me out of the blue. In fact, I actually have a top six, but my six is the honourable mention that just missed out on top five, and that was season five, episode seven. That is that was, of course, the crossover, the invasion episode. That was Arrow's 100th episode. And, yeah, that was a very good episode that just missed out on my top five. And number fifth, in the fifth, my fifth best episode of Arrow of all time Season 5, episode 17, Capuchin. Capuchin? How do you pronounce that? Capuchin? Uh, ca- Capuchin. Capuchin. Oh, I found my top 10 list, by the way. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, yeah. L- let, me, let me read mine first, then we'll go okay. to yours. Yeah, you read yours. Yeah. So, mine is, yeah, Capuchin, where, the one where Adrian tries to get Oliver to confess his sins, confess that he likes killing. That one, it was, like, when Oliver finally snapped and then he confessed, oh my goodness, I... Like, I was like, Adrian, like, no one's ever done this to Oliver before. Not even Slade, not even Deathstroke. No no one has broken Oliver the way Adrian did in this episode. And I just loved every minute of this episode. It was very tense as well, especially towards the end. It was just perfect for me. So, number, so coming up in number four, of course, the recent season seven, episode seven, the slap side redemption. You know how I felt about the episode. We just talked about it. Everything was just very good in fact in terms of action this was the best episode in terms of action in my opinion in terms of action fight scenes this was the best episode in my opinion so that is what i feel about season seven episode seven the slab side redemption so number three we have season two episode 18 that was titled death stroke so in this episode This was when Deathstroke... Do you remember this episode where Deathstroke, Slay Wilson, kidnapped Thea Queen? Oliver had to find Thea throughout the city. Do you remember that episode? Yeah. That that one, I remember watching that for the first time. It was... Oh, I was thinking, what's going to happen? I was very intrigued. It was very engaging, very exciting, very fast-paced, very tense. Mm, Very good, very good. So that is number three. Number two, we have season two, episode 15, titled The Promise. Do you remember this episode? Um, yeah. Yeah, so it was mainly a flashback episode where back into the... Uh, and, and this was this was basically like the origin of how Oliver and Slade started to hate each other. This was when Slade finally came to the realisation that Oliver was responsible for the death of Shadow, that he made, that he wants to make oliver promise that he's gonna you know make oliver's life a living hell so i remember watching that that episode was just there was just so much good things to say about that episode that's why it's my second favorite episode of all time (laughs) now number one every time i talk about this episode i just get i get very 
what's the word now? I don't I don't want to say emotional, but you know what? Let me just say I get very emotional every time I talk about this episode. It's my it's my favorite episode of any show, comic book or non comic book related, of all time, and that is the season five finale, Lianyu. And I know you talked about that just a bit, that saying many people are saying that this is their favorite episode. And for me, I don't blame them. <laughs> Every time I talk about this episode, it just brings, I, I can't stop smiling. In fact, I even recorded my reaction, a reaction video to it. Um, some, in fact, I, I might even, I might even attach it to this podcast. I might even attach it to this video so that you can, you, you guys can go and check out my reaction to that episode. But when that episode aired, it was it just had everything I wanted. Action, a, a good cliffhanger, a perfect, a, a good ending. Everything about it was just perfect for me. This is the episode that I'm going to give even, not even, not even 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10. <laughs> 20 out of 10 for me in this episode. My 100% my favorite episode of all time of any show, of any, of any show, my favorite. It was just, it was just so good what i liked most about it was how tense it was how the stakes it had and it had the return of my favorite villain of all time deathstroke because of course pri prior to this episode deathstroke wasn't allowed to appear on arrow again so when he made his return in this episode it just made me that it just made it that much better as well it had everything the main villains for the first two seasons teaming up with oliver to take down the big bad for season five it was it was team arrow versus team prometheus just so much stuff going on in this episode i just every time i talk about this i love talking about this episode so yeah th that's that that is my top five arrow episodes of all time you know very good list um should i read mine yes I top 10 if you want yeah, yeah yeah read it read your top 10 read your top 10 all right so number 10 is the season two finale which was titled Unthinkable. And I just really, really love this finale. I think it concludes season two, like an amazing season, like stopping Slade from killing Felicity and various other scenes. Like, I just thought this episode was so good. Um, and then number nine was Fundamentals, if you remember back to season six, actually. This was like the one episode that I thought was incredible. And it's made my top ten list. That was the episode where Prometheus returns in his head. Oh yeah, I remember that remember one. Yeah, that? yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, I love that episode. Um, and then number eight would be the pilot episode, episode one. Just very, very nostalgic for me. Yeah, like just hearing the backstory. You know, Oliver Queen has returned after three years. Yeah, in <laughs> from his crash on the Queen's Gambit. Um. <laughs> I love that episode. It's just so nostalgic and it really works setting up this show. And then my number seven is Sacrifice, which was the season one finale where Tommy died. Spoiler alert. Yeah. And <laughs> I thought it was such a good way to end off the Malcolm Merlin arc and uh, set up season two. And I thought it was amazing. Number six was Three Ghosts. This was the episode after Barry Allen was introduced. So... Uh, this was Barry's second episode in the Arrowverse, so Grant Gustin, love him to bits. Mm -hmm. And um, this was an amazing episode with Barry actually finding out Oliver's, Oliver's identity for the first time, and I loved it so much. And uh, my number five is Lian Yu. So mine's not number one, it's number five. Okay. Yeah, I love it so much, yeah. but it's not my number one. I was going to say, at yeah, least yeah. it's in your top five. That's good. Um, yeah, I think it's such a good episode. Like, great action, great way to end off Prometheus. I'm just sad, boy. <laughs> That's why I think I love Fundamentals so much because we got Prometheus back. He's my favorite villain, probably bar Zoom and Reverse Flash. Mm -hmm. Like, they're all on the same level for me. I yeah. love him so much. Uh, yeah. Um, so it was a great way to end his arc. Yeah. But he was sad at the same time. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. It was very sad. Um, yeah. And then number four is Checkmate from season five, episode 16. And this episode was, if I can remember rightly, 
it's the episode of where Oliver visits Talia al Ghul and she sort of reveals things about Prometheus and we get some amazing scenes from Josh Sagara and um, yeah, I just love this episode so much. Um, and then after that, number three is The Scientist, the first episode with Barry Allen, season two, episode eight, the one episode before Three Ghosts and this is, you know, one of my all-time favorite episodes in the Arrowverse. I just thought it introduced Barry so well, and seeing him with... Obviously, it's a massive nostalgia factor now that The Flash is my favorite show. Like, seeing him appear for the first time on one of my favorite shows, Arrow, seeing him with Oliver is just, like, incredible. It's so nostalgic. Now, when you go back and watch that, I've watched that episode so many times. Yeah. And this is where we get into my top two um number two is capuchon as you said mm. and i actually got it right i remembered my order for the, for the first two and so yeah capuchon was incredible i really 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 loved this episode so much and you can get the sort of gist of where i'm coming from season five is my favorite season yeah season two is my second yeah that i don't know what yours is what's your like nah, nah, for me like season five or season two yeah for me mine's literally the opposite season two then season five right yeah i just love season five so much yeah. i love season two yeah but i find basically all the episodes in season five to be so good yeah and mm-hmm. also i do with season two i just love prometheus mm. i prefer prometheus to deathstroke mm. in my opinion i know you don't yeah but... yeah no 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 don't, don't get me wrong prometheus is in my top three favorite yeah. villains in the entire Arrowverse. so it's not like i don't like because i do like he's my top three or in the entire Arrowverse. Uh, like so we have number one uh deathstroke number two i'm like for me i'm always struggling to choose number two between reverse flash and prometheus so number two and three is definitely between prometheus and reverse flash yeah so capuchon was the episode where uh oliver gets broken down by prometheus i think it's just such a great performance by those two actors and it really works and it's so psychological and intense and i just love that episode so much and my number one is, like I said before, what we leave behind. Mm. This episode I just love so much. Like it's a really close call between my top four. I would say with what we leave behind, Capuchon, the scientist, and Checkmate. If you see the correlation, there's three season five episodes, one season two episode. So I just love season five so, so much. And I thought this was an incredible episode. This was episode nine. So that was the mid-season finale. And I thought it left off in a really great way. Yeah. So that's my list. Yeah, nice list. Like, some of those episodes are definitely in my top ten. Like, the the, the Arrow season one and season two finales. Um, yeah, some of those some of those episodes that you mentioned are definitely in my top ten. And I'm, I might make another video, like, maybe when arrow gets cancelled because it's obviously it's going to happen one day i'm going to make a top 10 arrow arrow yeah, supernatural yeah yeah <laughs> i'm going to make a top 10 arrow episode list when it when the inevitable cancellation of arrow season seven or not season seven but arrow series comes maybe in fact speaking of the speaking of cancellation how many seasons do you think arrow will have because it's, this is its seventh season. So uh, do you think it's going to get cancelled in its seventh season? Or do you think it's going to get an eighth season? Or even go up to ten seasons? Personally, like what I would like and what I think is going to happen. I think as long as Steven's on board, as long as these cast members are on board, which Steven most definitely is, mm. and it gets good ratings, I think it can go on for longer than Supernatural. I think it's better than Supernatural. I think it's got more of, of a fan base i think from a from what i see right now i think it honestly could go on past like 13 seasons 13 what i would love i would love it to go on for as long as steven wants just as long as he wants to do it when he wants to stop then we stop so i, I wouldn't personally give like a season that i would personally say, but i think it can go on for literally like at least five more seasons honestly from what supernatural has done and things like that like for me i've never watched supernatural wait how many seasons is it on right now uh i think it's on 13 
30 what is that on the cw is on the cw Wait, as well it's on 14 okay yeah, season 14 on the cw okay no, for, so, I, I, when you said like another five seasons i'm thinking older oh, no, that's a bit now not if a smallville went up to season 13 so <laughs> i don't know about that honestly um don't get me wrong because you know arrow like i keep saying it's my favorite show of all time so i obviously want it to continue for as long as possible but i don't know like i definitely feel we may get a season eight um I, uh, it's it's hard for me okay 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 let me uh, yeah okay my prediction if it doesn't end on season eight it will end if it doesn't end on season eight it will end either in season nine or season ten what my guess is that they will probably if it doesn't end on season eight they will want to try and get to season 10 and end it on season 10 that will be my prediction yeah um but also one reason why i think it's gonna continue on is they've uh, switched out like the showrunner and like we've got this new showrunner new ideas I think she's going to stick around for a long time. Like, personally, I think, honestly, as long as they want to do it, I, I think season, literally, like, season 10 is just fine. Like, I think they can easily get that person. Hmm, I hope, hope so. I, like I said, I don't want it to ever end. But then again, I feel, in fact, hold on. I feel like they could, They like, they, they've still got so much material from the green arrow mythos to take from. because most of arrow's stories are basically batman stories they they barely touched upon green actual green arrow stories so they they so they still got a whole library of green arrow stories to tell from like they've done some green arrow stories but they've still got so much more they can do with with the green arrow stories you know rather than taking from batman you know anyway <sighs> anyway Wait, wait, did you say something? No, no, no. no. Oh, oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, I totally agree. Okay, so yeah. But anyway, yeah, that wraps up this. Yeah, this was a very long podcast because we had a lot to talk about. In fact, we were going to talk about more, but I decided to ax it because of the amount that we had to talk about in these three segments alone. But that wraps it up for this week's podcast.